Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Irish Guy. I'm Jesse. If you are finding me on YouTube, give me a like. Uh, stick around. We got a lot going on. Today is Sunday, January 7th, and a uh, pretty uneventful weekend, but I hope you guys are blessed and uh, very grateful uh, for another day today. And uh, we always take it one day at a time. So in, in, in spirit of that, we like to read from our 24 hours a day book, which gives us thought for the day. The meditation for the day and the prayer and so all these are vital in our, our our steps so if you're reading these when you get up here's how it goes when temptation comes as it does sometimes to all of us i will say to myself no my whole life depends on not taking that drink or that drug and nothing in the world can make me do it besides i have promised that higher power that i wouldn't do it and i know that god doesn't want me to drink and i won't even break my promise to him i've given up my right to drink and it's not my decision any longer so the meditation is, in silence comes God's meaning to the heart. I cannot judge when it enters the heart. I can only judge by the results. So God's word is spoken to those secret, to those secret places of my heart. And in some hour of um, in temptation, I find that word and I realize its value for the very first time. When I need it, I find it there. Thy Father, who seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. So the prayer for today is, I pray that I may see God's meaning in my life. And I pray that I may gladly accept what God has to teach me. So that is our 24 hours a day book. And that's such a valuable piece of uh, literature for us. For me, it's just vital. Um, and I've also been reading from uh, our Al-Anon lately, which is a group of um, a group branch off of Alcoholics Anonymous, which helps people that are dealing with people that are alcoholic in their family or a loved one or a friend. So this is directed towards you. So someone said something unkind about me. Are my feelings hurt? Yes. Should they be? No. How do I overcome my hurt? By detaching myself, turning it off, until I can figure out what lies behind it. If it was retaliation for an unkindness that I did, let me correct my fault. If not, I have no responsibility in the matter. Should I ignore the challenge? Should I ignore or challenge? No, I will let it go. Least said, soon, soonest mended. Least said, soonest mended. I like that. Nothing can hurt me unless I allow it to. When I am pained by anything that happens outside of myself, it is not the, that thing which hurts me, but the way I think and I feel about that thing. So today's reminder is not, not, let me not take to myself and suffer over the actions and reactions of other people. Other adult human beings are not my responsibility. That's underlined in here. So no matter how closely their lives may be intertwined with mine, I will not allow myself to be troubled by anyone else's mistakes. My own, my one problem is to improve my own way of living and looking at life. So God, teach me to detach my mind from what others say and do and accept to draw helpful lessons and guidance from them. So this week, we're going to be, I'm going to be starting school. So I don't know if we're going to be doing a whole lot uh, of live streams and videos and so forth, but I will be going through the 12 steps. And this last week, we were working on step five. And the week before, we worked on step four. So this next week, we're going to be working on step six. So I hope you guys are excited. Uh, we're working through the steps as a, as we should, right? Step by step. And we admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs in step five. So in step six, we're entirely ready to have God remove these defects of character or these shortcomings or these things that these habits these things that we get uh uh intertwined with with our addiction so i hope you guys are all having a great sunday if you need anything reach out um i do have some bibles that i'm looking to give away so if you know anybody or a ministry that would be uh, well deserved of a box of bibles i have about 15 christian study bibles those are softbacks and I have about 15 hardback pew Bibles. Those are a little bit heavier, and uh, I don't really want to be shipping uh, any of this. I'd like to give it away to somebody in my community. So if you know anybody around that would need those, let me know. Uh, all right, you guys. God bless.